We're notifying viewers that you are live. Thank you. Let's hope this thing works. The J. Arnse, Lazan, welcome, welcome. Kop na man, speel toch, please. Two man, speel. Paka dollar, invite to join live. Nog geen ons, geen nog kans, nog geen nou nie. Just take a moment. Ons net een oomblikje, so. My check, my check. The very good daily comments. Can uh, let me know if you can hear me uh, just by giving me a heads up. Can you hear me? Just give me a thumbs up. I will address every single question and I will uh, get started as soon as I am sure you can hear me. Let me just make sure you can hear me. Welcome, everyone. Uh, if you have a chance now, this is fantastic. I'm glad that you were able to join. Let me know if you can. Hear me, if you heard that, what I was playing was a Nama choir singing a beautiful hymn. And even though I don't have the translation entirely, and maybe even you didn't understand what was being said. Can you hear me? Let's check quickly. Speak your mind, I will address you, I promise. I'm not ignoring you. I just want to make sure, can you hear me? Since you are the one that's responding, can you let me know? Can you hear me speaking? And if you've just joined, welcome. Um, I just want to confirm you can hear me. So, come here and let's just take a spiel. Just give me a thumbs up or a wave or say yes. I can hear. Yes, we can hear you. Perfect. Oh, just a sticky. Okay. Kaiches, Tawades, Kayeza. We give thanks and praise to our Creator for the gift of life, love, and peace that we experience in this life and all the lives to come. Welcome. It is so wonderful to have you here. Your attention, your time. That's the one thing that you can control, and I'm grateful 
that you've shared it here with me. And I look forward to giving that time and attention all the respect that it deserves and make sure that you didn't waste it by sharing something that either will enlighten you, help give us a closer understanding of what the truth is, and more importantly, bring us all together to understand that all of us together, unified as soul carriers, when we search for the truth and we uncover it, nothing can stop us from connecting in kindness. Uh, I'm going to go straight into it because I think that that is, I just want to quickly refer, speak your mind. You sent a message quite a few times. If you're still there, can you just let me know which comment it was uh, that was deleted? I also picked up this morning when I was running through the comments that some of the other comments were being filtered for review. There was other comments. I even got a comment violation, which I didn't even know was like for, for using the word, okay, I'm not going to use the word because just now I get a violation here, but um, we, we're learning what's happening. We are not trying to stifle anybody's voice. And by we, I mean all of us together. Uh, because this time that we're spending together, these, this, these kinds of connections that happen, it's because we chose to and we choose to actually engage with each other. So if it is that your comment was um, deleted, please share it now. Let's uh, all of us have a chance to read it. Um, I am having a look at it. That's why I was appealing to uh, everybody that is out there and that's possibly even interested in trying to help. Please connect with me. Let's let's do this together. Let, there can only be a, a respectful representation of everybody if everybody is represented respectfully. So um, let's have a look. Everyone else has joined me. Welcome. Thank you so much for coming. I'm going to try and do this every day. Um, I'm not too sure when the times it's I'm going to try and get into a, a ridiculously rigu rigorous, predictable schedule so that you don't have to be like, oh my goodness, if you know, I got the money and when are we going to talk? Um, I will work this out. We, we will find it together. We'll find it together. We're navigating uncharted waters and we're going to find what works for us. Uh, but all the lives after they are um, completed here, I will upload them over to YouTube so you can have a chance to go and watch them uh, in your own time. Uh, I am looking for people to help with comments and for moderation and also to assist, like in general. Like, let's do this together. Well, th this isn't something that, and when I say this, I'm referring to the fact that we are opening a platform, a chance, an opportunity for us to have open, honest discourse in a respectful manner to talk about the things that are sometimes a little uncomfortable, that sometimes require us to even challenge our own beliefs. But Together, we can work through because we're all looking for the same thing. We want peace, unity. We want love. I want to have freedom of my time. I want freedom of my expression. I want to live in a world that's kind. I want to ensure that those that come after me, whether they are born from the my stubby shillelagh or not, that they have a future that they can really be proud of as a building block for whatever it is that their journey is for. So um, I'm, I'm, I always appeal uh, to everyone whenever I have a chance to please connect with me. If you feel like you have any way that you can help spread the message of kindness or contribute to us being able to uncover the truth. So I'm going to go back and see if your comment has come back um, or if you've at least posted it here, if you're still here, speak your mind uh, so that we can address that. Hi, brother, my one and only Steve. Greetings. <clears throat> Ooh, excuse me. Greetings. It's good to have you here. We can hear you. Koi Khan. Lovely to have you here. Respect. Okay. I don't think uh, something, what was the student's name or the lady's name? Speak your mind. Uh, why? We'll, we'll, we'll find out if you're still there or if you please in, in, inbox me if we're not following each other. Um, send me the message. I will connect because I'm also still going through the following everybody and you can only follow so quickly. And then it says, you have reached your following or unfollowing limit. Please wait 24 hours. And I went 24 hours. Wacht voor ek nou weer vir julle gaan terug. Liefde geer. Because we're not following each other. We are fellowing each other. And that's what I'm hoping to try to do. Uh, so that we can all have a decent journey and a nice representation to the truth. Um, if you haven't ever seen or connected or heard, and you're like, oh, what's clapping here? What's going on with this? Uh, 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 my name is uh, Etienne Davids. I am a indigenous Khoi Khoi chief here in the wonderful West Coast, sunny South Africa. I'm a husband, a father, and a creative entrepreneur with the intention of impacting the world positively through connection, creation, and conversations. And sometimes those conversations aren't very pleasant. Um, and sometimes the information that comes out of those conversations challenges the very fibers of what we have been holding onto for so long. 
And um, I, I'm just after the truth. And I'm just asking to learn just as much as you're trying to learn and for us to have a respectful conversation. And one of the things that I've discovered out of the, inca- uh, like the fact that there's such an increase in amount of uh, people that have joined this community and welcome. I'm so grateful. Hi, Gang Gang. So I'm happy to have you here. All the cool messages and the sharing of the videos. I, I really want to be able to get to every single person, but it has been, I can only say thanks to the creator for opening up a doorway where we can connect. Because it has been almost 2,000 people in the space of a couple of days that have reached out, connected, fellowed me, and started connecting on the conversations and the chats, started sharing posts. And I'm truly overwhelmed because it shows me that I'm not the only one, just like you are not the only one, hungry for the truth, looking to connect with people that have a like-minded um, idea of kindness being a good departure point respect being a good way to have uncomfortable conversations and that unifying ourselves is not something that is just a idea that somebody can use for whatever gains that they're after it's an actual principle we can apply in practice and even if it seems like it's not happening right now right now we are unifying with people from all over the world i mean in the last time i think every other uh, location or, or all the continents has at least got somebody ripping saying hello how's it I, I i was going through some of the comments on youtube as well i'm like wow this is so phenomenal and the fact that we have the opportunity i'm like okay the 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 important thing for for us to not get caught up in is the amazing and wonderful sort of i don't want to call it ego but more vanity based results like it's great to have an increased amount of followers. It's an, it's an amazing type of experience to feel uh, a connectivity with so many different people that you've never, ever met before, but that can sense this, the idea and the ideology and the principles and the energy that I am trying to put into the world because I'm not doing it for the world. I'm doing it so that I can stand tall and be a proud father, role model, husband, Neighbor, brother, son, uncle, brah, Tommy, you know, that dude over there. I, leader, it doesn't matter. I'm a human. And, and I'm, I really think that it's so much more impactful for us to focus the amazing energy that's in all of us. That breath of life from our creator that gives us the ability to be a soul carrier, to connect and be kind. And rather look at putting that energy into something positive. So, so I, I, I really am grateful for all these new connecting. I don't want us to get too caught up in some of the vanity. I know that sometimes it's, 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 it's uh, an exciting thing. I, I'm, I, I know there's a lot of options. Some people are saying like, yeah, yeah you know, now you can monetization, let you monetize. I'm like, yo, I am, have been dependent on my creator for almost four decades on this planet. And I have not changed my mind about that. I might have been forgotten or lost a little bit in my own self because life happens and the university of life will school us all in in any aspect but i always cling on to the fact that i've got more victories and and i've got more good memories than the few really painful sometimes but negative memories and and i'd like to try to increase that and rather make that the foreground of a lot of my engagement so Today I was very fortunate enough to share some beautiful music with you. I don't know if you had a chance to hear any of it, but it was a Nama choir speaking in indigenous. There's so many. There's, uh, there's Nama, Dramada, Kwe Kwe Khawap. There's, there's some indigenous Aboriginal languages that aren't lost, haven't been forgotten. It's just it's it's it sometimes makes you feel like, yo, I mean, like, yeah, I know I want to learn my own language, my hearing, but like, I, I can't find somebody who can teach me or I don't want to really pay for it. It should be for free. And then it's like, yo, but like, how difficult is it? Because it's really, it's not, an, it's not an easy task because it incorporates elements from nature, sounds from nature. And it's, it's, it is such a elemental language, true to what even in, uh, if you uh, are familiar with the word Songkwas or the Songkwas tribe, um, it, it, it also rings this idea of the supreme being. And that is what is so beautiful about the language. Don't feel bad if you can't speak it. Don't feel bad 
if somebody's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. you say you uh, you are indigenous, you are Aboriginal, that is something that will come. And it will, you will have an opportunity and you will learn it. The fact that you have that desire to want to do it means that you've put it out there and your light is shining and those that have the ability to pour into your cup will do so. And those that can will do so. And when you have filled your cup, then you will be the one that pours. So be patient, grow in it, marinate in it, and embrace what you learn and what you understand and follow the guidance that you can feel from your intuition. And I know it's scary to lean into your intuition, uh, especially when you're like, oh, I'm not so sure. <laughs> but it's really worthwhile because it teaches you a thing about trusting yourself. And that's a pain full kind of reality we have to deal with is that a lot of the problems we see stems from the fact that we don't trust ourselves we don't trust our judgment we don't trust our own and, and rightfully so sometimes you should be like hey wait a second did i just think that thought but that's where your mastery of yourself by inner standing yourself in order to overstand what is happening around you uh, really comes and brings true so that's what i'm trying to do here uh, with these live sessions, I want to try to engage with you, be open with you. I'm openly uh, happy to connect with you. If there's something like, yeah, listen, I blah, 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 I don't funny comments. There are so many good is funny. I will that word do it. Say your thingy here in the comments, please. And then let's do it live. Let's let's have a real-time conversation so we can share each other's uh, um, point of view and we can find a kind and respectful middle ground where we can then say, okay, off. Oh, brilliant. I now have learned and I have equipped myself with information that makes me make a better, more wise decision that's more informed and closer to the truth. Thank you for helping me out and thank you for correcting and teaching me so that I may pass that along. But what I'm not looking for is, yeah, 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 wait, 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 yo, 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 and, and, yeah, yeah, meneer, jy het, jy praat kompe, and, and, yeah, I, I don't want any of that. Let's not let's not have let's not have uh, unnecessary, aggressive, convoluted, <sighs> specifically conflict-seeking conversations. Let's not do that. What does it help us? What is it? What does it help us here? We've seen it in Parliament, and I'm not trying to bring a political, but I'm like, what does that type of point of departure really do when you're like yeah but you are a child and this i'm i'm old you must sit you're a small boy it doesn't bring us to a place of a, a resolution and 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 i know that we have a lot of things that we differ on but we can all agree on one thing those who don't have a voice especially the children deserve to get a fighting chance at getting positive really constructive and valuable, uplifting information instead of just something that continuously is perpetuated in society, on social media, in, in the news and everywhere. My hand, my heart, my hand, my hand on my heart. My heart goes out to all the children, the women, the people that lost their lives and keep lo losing their lives in this conflict around the world, all of them. And I know you know the one that's currently happening, but I'm not even... It, it doesn't matter which one it is. We shouldn't be fighting each other. We shouldn't be ending each other's lives. There are alternative ways. And, and I believe, like you, and I think that we should believe the same, otherwise you wouldn't be here. I believe that there are not sinister, shadowy figures. There are legitimately power-centered Groups, collectives, people, corporate and political that specifically control the narrative of things, control information for the purposes of profit. It's, j I mean, if, and, and, and if you want to, yeah, that's, that's very sans because right? I don't even know if they're going to like ban you or like warn me with another violation if I speak sans sorry if I say the word. But, but I think that it's, it's, it's pretty relevant. I mean, a lot of the stuff that was considered theory have turned out to be fact. And, and, and I believe that it's not just a question of uh, what is best in, in the best interest of the people or of humans or of animals or the planet. And that's the way I see the world. It should always be people, planet, profit. Uh, it shouldn't be profit, profit, profit. Oh, yeah, no, don't forget about the people. Eh? Oh, yeah, yeah. We can get profit from them. It should be centered around a living in balance with nature. And, and a lot of the time, we're not addressing the main issues because we are arguing about history. We're arguing about a 
things that we might have half heard. And we know that over time, things have changed. And part of what I want to bring to these sessions is not just like my opinion and my, my view. In my profile, I have a little tab that I put right at the top on my website. If you go to um, Etienne davids.carrd.co. If you go to my website right on top, there's a little Google Documents link to an extract from a book called The Land Wars, The Dispossession of the Khoisan and the Amakosa in the Cape Colony. The author's name is John Leband. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly, if the R is Salah, but Leband. And it was published in 2020. And this you can read online for free. It's available on the internet um, archive website, you know, the archive.org, you know, the public free uh, uh, available one, archive.org, you can go and put it in there. I've also added it as a link in the document, but you're more than welcome to go and view it later. Or if you want to just like, you can, you know what, it's, it's cool. You can like put your screen lock on and leave your earphones in and then listen to this like it's a podcast. And then on your computer, like look at the Word document and then it seems like you're working, but you could actually then follow the whole document to read on your own. But this is a very interesting book. Um, and I'm going to read an extract from it. Because I think, again, speaking to this place of conflict that I've seen throughout the comments and um, especially from the replies and the way that I've seen some of us engaging online, there seems to be so much atta attached to, yeah, but this is referencing to that and referencing to this. And we have some opinions, yes, and we've all got a broad base of information. And research isn't just saying, who are the Khoisan on whichever your favorite search engine is, enter. Research is actually going deeper and looking at where there is cited, verified options or, or, or confirmation or conversation but where we can at least say as a community, whether it's in a university. And I know you're going to come at me and say, yeah, but not all the universities are te 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 teaching us the truth. You see, you're just another colonized person. I'm like, look, yeah, don't get caught in the hype. Go look for yourself. Look for yourself, read the information, decide for yourself. And that's why I'm having these sessions and adding these resources so you can go and research for yourself, read for yourself on open, freely available for everybody to see documents. And this book, The Land Wars, The Disposition of the Khoisan and the Amakosa in the Cape Colony, uh, published in 2020, helps frame this conflict we have about who is here first. Because it, it does matter. It does. It's important to rep, uh, represent our past correctly, not his story, but our past. We need to represent it correctly. Uh, but we, we shouldn't be seeing it from such a con conflict uh, sort of driven point of view. Yeah, but you weren't first and you weren't first. We need to understand from wherever we have any information re regarding the past, what does it say about those people that were there then? And and some of this, when we look at the, the history, yeah, but the Amakosi were here and the, and the Amakoi and the Amabant and the Nunguni, all these things are, are, are important because they reflect the, the incredible beauty of our diversity in our uniqueness because we are so many different cultures and so many, but we are all Africa, children of the sun, children of the soil. And as Africans, we can unite in our beautiful differences, in our ways that we see things, and we can do that in a respectful way. But when we look at our past, we need to understand that in a lot of the instances, sometimes we don't know if that is the truth. So this publication is a great resource, one of very many that I'm also going to share with you. I'm also going to be in some of these sessions. I've got this book uh, by Dr. Ruben Richards, which I've also... Which, yeah, that, that's what I've got. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Mr. Ruben Richards is a man who has written a book for all the But he's also... He's got an incredible book uh, on uh, called Bastards or Humans. There's a video that I've referenced to that. But... Also, going to, like, how did they say, yeah, verified and accredited and credible resources and sources, stuff that you can go look like. I also will be looking through some of that. But I want to share this with you so that you can come to a conclusion on your own. And then we can come back and we can carry on having these conversations. I think, like, we are missing how valuable these platforms are. We are missing how valuable it is when we are maybe unemployed and we have the internet and sure I could be scrolling and sure I could be trying to look for work and sure I could be trying to up, up, upscale and yes, but you can also make time and provide time where you can form an opinion based on things that are not just or somebody said this or say you can decide it for yourself. You can read through it yourself. I mean, I know that a lot of people are referencing acts and things like cool, 
Where's the, where's the link to that then? How come I couldn't find that? And that's what I want to eliminate. So on my um, website for the duration of the day until the next um, live, there will be a, a, a little document that says TikTok live document thingy on my website where you can then see the Word document uh, for today's one. And I'm just going to read the extract. And I read the lesson and I'm going to say, yes, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to uh, and the extract, I'm not going to tell you what page it is so that you can come back and tell me. Uh, and you can actually go look. So here we go. <clears throat> all of the peoples residing in South Africa today, out of all of the people residing in South Africa today, only the San are considered to be autoconous. Autoconic. Yes, a good word. But that is still living in the same region as their ancestors when, when they evolved into modern humans eons ago. As nog a groot woord, just for like, flek lang gelede. Everyone else involved in this story were settlers. People who came later, whether migrating from further north in Africa, like the Khoin Khoin or the Khoi Khoi people, and the southern Nguni speakers, or arriving by sea from Europe, like the Portuguese, the Dutch, the French, the British and Germans, or from Madagascar, or the East Islands, and elsewhere in Africa, if they weren't slaves. Before the Dutch encountered the Amakosa, they clashed with the Khoinkhoin or the Khoikhoi and San, who occupied all the vast tracts of land between the Cape of Good Hope and the Kosa chiefdoms to the east. As early as 1488, passing Portuguese mariners had the very first armed brush with these people. Those are now the San and the Khoin Khoin or Khoi Khoi people. But it was the Dutch who settled on the shores of Table Bay in 1652. That's where that conversation around the lie of 1652 and like, I wasn't trying to be provocative of history or our past. I was trying to provoke you into wanting to find out for yourself. And for those that might know more, to share it. Instead of trying to ridicule and point fingers and say, yeah, you don't know your history and you don't know what you did, then they school me then. Please, share it. So... Just so we can settle that. As early as 1488, passing Portuguese mariners had the very first armed brush with these people. But it was the Dutch who settled on the shores of Table Bay in 1652 who went on to defeat and dispossess them, incorporate them as laborers and um, menials, or drive them away north across the Orange River. That's like up to where Northern Cape. There are many people as are all there so from the North Cape. Because they are all there. They are all there. They are all there. And once the outriders of European settlements reached what would become the eastern frontier zone of the Cape, they found the Khoi Khoi or the Khoi Khoi and San who were living alongside the Amakosa who were forcibly pushed back or assimilated by the Tosa chiefdoms as they expanded westwards. True to Africanness and all of our past is Africans, all of us have lived in harmony. There hasn't always been that peace. We know about the African slave trade within the African slave owners. We know about those uh, um, atrocities of genocide. We're familiar with those. And we know that those are, but we can also explore the narrative that brings us back to a place that existed as well. If we look back into the, the, the trailer of our history as African people, sure, you can highlight all the spots where we were just like doing all the bad, but in between there, there's good. And this is also speaking true to that. So please, we are all together. We can live in harmony. All right, let me go back to the document. And if you are just joining in, we're reading through the book. An extract from the book, The Land Wars, The Dispossession of the Khoi San and the Amatosa in the Cape Colony by John Labande. On my website, you can find a word document to it and you can read it on your own. There's a link to the actual full one as well, so you can do that as well. So here we go. Caught between two advancing fires, the Khoi Khoi and San were forced to make strategic choices in the wars along the eastern frontier. Some joined the Amatosa in resisting the encroaching forces of colonialism 
or rebelled against the colonial rule once it was imposed. Others, though, threw in their lot with the settlers. Yeah, let me say that again, because that also needs to be said amongst our indigenous people. We need to accept all the aspects of our past. Some where is that sticky now? Oh, you know, black yeah. Some joined the Amakosa in resisting the encroaching forces of colonialism or rebelled against colonial rule once it was imposed, while others threw in their lot with the settlers and formed a significant and generally loyal segment of the colonial armed forces. At times, even some of the Amakosa aligned themselves with the settlers against the African rivals. That they, did not, that they did so should be no cause for surprise. It was typical of all wars of imperial conquest. That's what we need to understand. When we are fighting amongst each other about our past, we must remember that we are all victims of imperial colonial conquest in Africa. Okay, we're not going to be excited. Um, that some of the uh, and it was typical of all of these imperial conquests that some of the indigenous peoples considered their interests uh, considered the interest and lay in cooperating with the invaders rather than in opposing them. And for their part, since the number of white troops and armed settlers deployed in the colonies was always small and always men, we should never forget this fact. It wasn't like there was boatloads of of women from anywhere else in the world that were traveling. They came, and that is something we should always remember. It is something that still happens today. Our women, our girls, are being completely exploited, expunged, erased, and forgotten, abused, and destroyed. And in the same principle, even though we are talking about the indigenous people being attacked and er eradicated during these colonial and imperialistic wars, it was the women that were in these indigenous towns, in these places, in these tribes, from these clans all across Africa, who were then the mothers of all those other descendants that came from there. And that is a deep, 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 deep painful scar. Whether some of them chose to align with the imperialists or if opposed, either way, living as a descendant from there, that is a painful place to have the first chapter of your history or your past be written. During the later wars on the eastern frontier, the Amam Fengu played a, a especially prominent military role on the British side, making up the single largest element of their armed forces. Likewise, the Abatembu sometimes came out in support of the British, although on other occasions they fought against them. We must remember, we are not fighting each other. We are fighting centralized imperialistic colonialistic power. People that, these, these are not, these are not, their intention is not your best interest. This is not some, you yeah, know, we, you know, we have to fight war. This is part of a ideology that keeps us enslaved because we will be divided. And we will fight amongst each other while other program and other framings are happening in order to continue this exploitation of resources for the purposes of control. And when we fight each other based on the fact that yeah, but you can't say you came from there and you aren't here first and this one wasn't. When we do that, that is how we are handing over cards that will literally be dealing our fate into our own hands. So we need to remember let me just give you a so the, like the Abba Tembu, and I'm not point to singling it out. I just want to say that during war, people make strategic and leaders make strategic choices. We need to ensure that the people are not forgotten whom those leaders represent. And if the people are informed and share discourse and understand what is happening around them, it means that leadership cannot sway or change things for the purposes of power. Because look at this, even in the past, they were doing the same thing, taking bribes. But it was strategic. Not that it is right, but that is part of this game of war. Which, on, in all in fairness, we never win. As the people will always be the victims. Uh, or collateral, even. The wars in the Cape were therefore never a simplistic clash of races. Nor a clear-cut case of colonial, colonial intruders 
ranged against the solid ranks of the Indiges or the indigenous people. Now, this is just an extract from this book, The Land Wars, The Dispossession of Khoisan and Amakosi, Amakosa in the Cape Colony by John Labande, published 2020, that you can freely go and research. If you go to the website www.archive.org and you search for that title, you'll find it. If you go to my website uh, on my bio and you click on the first thingy, there's the Word document with the extract that I read and there's a little blue link to the actual document. I hope it still works. Please tell me if it doesn't work. You know, ek um, so that you can also read it for yourself and digest. But what I would like us to have as, a, as these interactions is an opportunity to learn something new that we might not have heard or read a perspective or share a perspective on something that we might not have heard before or that isn't commonly available in the mainstream. Sorry, man, my bril fell by you. No, my kop raak of my heart daarof. So, my so aan mekaar fell. But, but I want to share what I know because I want us to have a conversation around it. And then for the later part of the conversation, like now, I want to invite you to share your view. Let, let's, have a, let's have a debate. I'm going to go to the comments, but I also would like to um, invite you to connect live. Let's have a real-time conversation. For this next, up and least until three year, if you can, let's say, yo, I want to connect. Nah, Ricky. No, no, let me go to the comments. That the people who have ticket out loud, you can see by and there's lots of people that have already shared, uh, that have joined the conversation too and left and so on. Let's just quickly go through the comments and then I will then open up the floor to like, okay, it can have to do with what we just learned. It can have something to do with what we were uh, di uh, either discovering from the comments in the chats, from the videos surrounding the Queen and the court case and the rest, or around the disparities uh, uh, regarding the past and the history. It could be as long as it's respectful and at least that we are, ki we are kind in our approach and we are trying to get to the truth. That's all I'm asking. So let's go to the comments quickly. Wonderful. And oh, person, Nikki, what now? He said, comment was deleted. Is true or not? Let me quickly check. Speak your mind. Okay, yeah, that was that one. Yes, we've seen you. Uh, let's see. Missed you on Saturday, my one and only Steve. Sorry, man. Yeah, man. Yo, you can't. Oh, Steve is. Yeah, yeah. I'm seeing now your profile picture. I. You know what? You guys are going to love him. He is incredible. The funniest guy on four wheels. Uh, RWT Tawades. Lieflikum Kim Langefeld. Hello. Where are you? Where am I? I am here in Marmersbury in uh, the West Coast from sunny South Africa. Hope you all wonder where are you from? Let's see who else is here. Hello. Can you read your comments? That's exactly what I'm going to do now. Um, Fantastic. There is no genetic difference between San and Koi. Brilliant. Thank you, Brown Aboriginal. Uh, I'd like you to expand on that maybe. Give us a little bit more insight into that answer. I think that sometimes when we speak, uh, let's say, uh, in the language we are most familiar, this ampus was to act for the first time on the university. I walked into my first lecture and I'm like, this person does this every day all day, whole year, for how many years? And when I'm like, this is the first time in my life I am hearing it. And my question I'm going to ask is probably going to be like a stupid question because you have asked this question so many years ago. We end up losing on the value of that information. So I say, net for me, we can clarify, or net a bit context can hear, or that work is an indication here of like, look, it's in. I'll go live. I'll give you. I'll connect with you if you can. Let's let's quickly just. Discuss that. What is that? What do you mean by there's no genetic difference between Koi and San? Um, Brent, why is what's happening right now being avoided by the news and by the mainstream? Why are we being taken so lightly? So I want to stop here quickly before I continue on. I would like something that I know we all understand to be said publicly. Free independent media is a direct target to the entire system that exists in order to control us all. Because if you can control the narrative, if you can control what people hear, if you can control what people learn in schools, if you can control what people are being told through all of the mediums, then you can control what they believe. And by controlling what they believe, you can get, get away with literally anything. So outside of what we are discussing around uh, Queen Valerie and the court case around the Aboriginal and Southern African rights and all those types of elements, in all other aspects of true, free, independent media, there is attack specifically coordinated on 
independent sources of information that challenges the mainstream narrative. So if it doesn't support, and again, it comes down to profit. Because the news isn't there to inform. Because if it really was there to inform you about truly important things, it wouldn't just be, yes, they do share valuable information. I'm not going to take that away from them in certain instances. But it is the manner in which that information is shared with us and how it is packaged that is so that you can watch. It's a show. It's a, it's a spectacle. And, and the fact that it's a spectacle and it's, a, it's driven by the emotional response that it gives you so that you can rather attach that emotional response you get from what you've seen to the information instead of the information that you've overstood becoming the center point of how you actually react to this. You are then completely opposed. You'll be like, yeah, yeah, like this flat earth conversation. Yeah, how could you do that? You're stupid, man. People are Again, it won't be part of the mainstream conversation because it won't feed the narrative. If it does, in some way, considering, again, this flat earth thing, you'll see it just in merchandising. So people that will make money off of it, they don't care whether the earth is flat or round or whether that's true or not. In a lot of the cases, all that is seen is here is an opportunity to exploit the one resource all human beings possess, and that is their time and their attention. And I'm going to exploit that without them knowing in very sinister manners where they employ psychological efforts. Every single part of the communication and the colors and the things and the T-tones and the music. I grew up in a time of jingles, TV jingles. And still today, fine, it also has a bit to do with the echolalia, but like still till today, I'll just be like, I'll be washing dishes. And then random, the strong fresh flavor of plenty really goes a long way. I'm like, yo, I can't remember. Built in to something that attaches a product to an emotional response. It transports me to a time in my past where it creates a feeling. I'm like, yo, you don't see that anymore. All of a sudden, ex magno it That is the reason why the truth is kept out of the mainstream entirely they'll give you snippets they'll tell you pieces because it will you cannot tell a convincing enough lie without including portions of the truth and that's why we're all after the truth we can't be misled anymore we have access to people like yourselves that have information or access to education that you've been given or granted or you've been blessed with so that you can package it in a way that someone can understand and then what i can do is pass it along instead of at the bride's like yeah yeah it was nogal a kak dag geweest hierdie week ja ja weet jong is nogal nie lekker om te werk ja ja is land is sinds hy moer en ja ja het is nie we can actually have real powerful conversations around how can we change this shift of control and power into the hands of the people, the many instead of the few. So Brent, we won't be hearing a lot of it, but you will when it starts being beneficial. You can look at all of the large, uh, what are they called, uh, developed countries and then be like, yeah, but the, you, you sound like somebody that's just watching, uh, you know, American TV or European, no, 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 no. Trust me, they come and use Africa as a dumping site for technology and for techniques that they have been using. They come and use it as a proofing site as well. As a, You will find exactly the same elements in the things that we hear from our American sisters and brothers, our European sisters and brothers, our Asian and a whole South Pacific and all the rest of the rest of the world. You will hear the same thing because it is the same narrative. You are a commodity, unfortunately. So that's how they can control that message. Zazi, may I ask, where is this info from? I would love to read it too. I'm learning a lot. Zazi, thank you so much for being part of here. How can we change this? Zazi, quickly to answer your question, um, on my website, um, you can go and get, there's a little tab right at the top that says TikTok Live Resource. Or if you prefer to, because I'm not trying to just drive people to my website, please, I understand that because I also do digital marketing and the rest. I understand that, but... I want to try and make it easier so you don't have to. But if you want to on your own, you can go to www.archive.org. And then in the search, you can just type in the title of this book, um, The Land Wars, The Dispossession of the Khoisan and Amatosa in the Cape Colony by John Leband. He published this book in 2020. Uh, and I just read an extract from that book i still have to digest the rest of it there's so many other books that have so much information and then when you even just go and have a look you dip your toe in and you're like oh, that 
Why are we learning other unnecessary things? Why is it that there aren't TV programs and shows and content? And there are content creators, believe me, outside of myself and yourself. There are content creators out here providing value to all of us for free. And it doesn't even cost us anything. But we just won't see them on our for you all the time. Why? Because there are certain things built into these systems that control how the narrative stays at the top. We don't have the, the, the settings. We don't sit here and say, today I think we are going to push a little bit of this. This is going to be trending and this is going to be viral. And yes, I know there's lots of gurus and there's lots of people that have like studied and expertise in this. And this is just not my view from my experience and from what my um, involvement in this industry has been. From an app like TikTok, Outside of the SEO or the search uh, enabled uh, feature where you can then show up for search and keywords and things that people maybe might not know that they're looking for, like right now, the conflict that's happening and the result, they will type in a very specific keyword. And when they type in that specific keyword, wherever it is that they're looking for it, the content that matches that keyword that is looking to be pushed as the agenda will be found first. Then the content that has been interacted with and that's the thing why people say hey guys oh okay no, i don't want to do it shame no 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 when people do that thing and they're like please hit that like button follow and subscribe and everybody switches off i even do that myself honest i also do that i also do that sometimes i'm like but because not everybody does that that impact from that like comment share browser, uh, what's that thing, bookmark or download or retweet or whatever, that impact of pushing that content further into the system the way that it works doesn't happen. So all the other information is either the stuff that's been paid for or that's so, let's say, gimmicky and exciting because it speaks to the psychological triggers, funny and makes you feel angry, makes you feel sad, shows you an image with sad mood. All these things are psychological triggers so that you can rather interact there because if you see nobody's commenting, if you see nobody else is liking, you watch that video till the end, agree with what's being said, disagree with what's being said, but won't interact. And that's where independent creators, independent local content creators, from whichever side of whichever portion of the world that you might be at, don't get sight. They don't have an opportunity. But I'm only trying to share what I know and what I can. So share what you know and what you can. I'm still looking for someone to maybe connect with me live if you're looking to. I'd love to um, get to have a live conversation with someone in real time if you want to share. Brent, your question about how can we change this. So I think your question is in two parts. Um, and I think the first part speaks to that when you start learning about the truth or when you start discovering more information around things that are true or that challenge even what you believe to be true and you don't know where to, how do I trust this one or who do I look for or how do I like know that what this other person is saying is, is, is actually the truth. And, 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 and I can't give you some manual, which I wish there was. Um, and currently it's not like we, 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 and by we, I mean everybody in, that has connected since the beginning of us even having these conversations has been reaching out and saying, yo, I think this is a way we can help share the news. It's like, it's amazing. It's, it's like people are really able to unite from all over the world, from all types of cultures, because of the fact that we believe kindness should prevail. We believe, all of us believe, that the truth is, no matter how uncomfortable it makes you, it should be available for everyone in every way. And one of the ways we're trying to do that is by celebrating what we know. And, and that is our culture. And by our culture, that is if you're a Makosa, if you're a Zulu, if you're Afrikaans, uh, or Afrikaans, as you're a European, as you're a Nederlander, as you're from the underworld, of even if you're from the motherland in Russia, and you're probably just looking for somebody else to have connection. It, we are able to celebrate those different cultures and heritages and provide then whatever it is through our network that value. So if you say, Etienne, I'm a musician. Ek, man. Ek. I love making music too. I can't find, let's say your, your, your question, I can't find places where there is just my cultural heritage. Where there are no colored, for argument's sake, there are no colored places 
or celebrated artists, music. Or there's few here, but you can't see local. Like I know men all over that don't do something. Turn your platform and your audience into the thing that you're passionate about and share that and then share that music. And then that will be the thing that can be replicated and then can be competed. We can be proactive. We don't have to wait for the thing to be given to us. We don't have to wait for somebody else to do it first. We can do it ourselves. And this is like the same principle of the dot-com era back in the 90s where you build it in public. Don't be afraid to fail. Failure is this. That's part of this concept. In, in destroying us as soul carriers, us as human beings, and part of the suppressive nature of media and the manipulation of people's consciousness because your consciousness is being fed on. Um, and we're going to touch some of these concepts. I'm just throwing a few of them in here. But I mean, um, one of the, 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 the key things is like this fear. It's like, oh, no, no, you know, people are going to, they're going to reject me. It's not going to go viral. Oh, man, it's not going to, you know, not, nobody's going to come. People are going to be nasty. They're going to be mean. Yeah, people feel an impenetrable power behind the safety of a username that might not even be their own. They feel a immense amounts of security around the idea that you never know where my house is. And we're going to have this conversation about like internet security and privacy and the rest of it. We're not just trying to have conversations around like, yeah, 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 things that might be uh, accidentally framed as a political or, 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 or controversial agenda, but we want to talk about the things that matter. We know we are operating inside a, a, a society where technology and, and digitization is happening at an immense rate, not even just referring to AI and everything else. And I was like, it's really, it's important for us to understand, but people are very rude and fine. You might be afraid of that and you might be afraid of other things, but... Fear is not what's going to accomplish what you know needs to be done. And you won't have the proof of whether or not what you think you believe is what needs to be done is going to be a success or an impact or not, unless you do it. We live in this hypothetical where you, because you see others and you compare yourself to others and other, because we think that, yeah, no, somebody else is doing it, I can't do it. There's like 50 other faceless YouTube accounts, Etienne. You, you know how many UGC creators there are? You know how many? So the fact that there's so many, the, the, you aren't, the one that is like you isn't there. The one that adds your pers- point of view, even if it's just like that last, that bitchy, but you know, oh, it's like, oh, that's kind of like the same as the other, but just that, oh, that, like, oh, I like, so cheesy what you got, and you damn. That's what people crave. That's what you crave. That's the stuff that you are looking for instead of seeing the same monotonous thing. Don't be afraid to be creative in public. And I know it can be painful, but that is part of the process. It, it really helps. And that's me speaking as a creative myself. So let's quickly go look back at the comments again. Um, you have a, a voice for radio. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, hello, Robin Dandelion. Beautiful flower. Also very powerful medicine. Go do a little bit of reading on dandelion and dandelion root. You'll be amazed at what plants we have been told are weeds can actually be our medicine. Um, welcome, Robin. It's lovely to have you here. Thank you for that compliment. Ricardo, what is the name of the book? So the book that I was reading from, the extract, is called The Land Wars. The Dispossession of the Khoisan and Amatkosa. In the Cape Colony by John LeBand, published in 2020. You can do a search engine search, or if you'd like to, you can go to the website where I found it. It's the archive, A R C H I V E dot org, and then you type the same title, it, <clears throat> excuse me, and you will find it there. Or if you want to go to my website, which I would also appreciate, love, there's lots of other stuff there as well. You go to etiendavids dot card with two R's dot C O. And then it's the first one. It says live. You'll be taken to the Google Doc, which has the extract I read. And then also the little blue publication date. That takes you to the archive link. Then you can read the book there. Um, I hope that answers your question, Ricardo. Um, and yeah, I, d- I did do a little bit of radio work. Uh, I was on local community radio for a while. I've done. But yeah, it's not, it's not about me and my career. But thank you for the compliment. Uh, let's see. In terms of the government stepping down, what is happening there? Ooh, that is a very interesting question. I have also expressed that concern of understanding what that means, like what's the way forward. And I don't think that it would be fair of me to share um, my own opinion. So I have also, again, requested not only uh, Queen Valerie, but also um, I'm, I'm sure you heard she was referring to uh, an ambassador as well, um, to also have an opportunity to really have that conversation so that we can hear it from the people that have been doing this for the last 20 or so years, that have been forming part of the front line of getting to this result. 
Ek het nou maar net nou die dag, like that's the thing, I, I, I think like, the, 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 the illusion that social media allows us to believe that whatever is on the internet is pure truth, creates this idea that I know everything and I'm just because I'm sharing something and, and I literally only found out about it quite recently and, and that's also why I felt that it, I'm so compelled to share this. I can't not keep this to myself because like you, I couldn't find it anywhere else. I couldn't find it anywhere else. So I asked the people because the power rests there. And, and that's what I'm going to refer to. I've also reached, reached out to a few other um, uh, individuals in the law community. If you know someone as well, please, I'd love to, that can also shed some light. Because we're not just, there's not a bias idea of just one. We are after the truth. And the impact of the truth is on everybody. So around the stepping down and what's going to happen, um, I, I as far as I know, the priority at the moment in order to show the impact on who the Aboriginal people are is the census or that database that um, um, Queen Valerie was referring to in order to ensure that all the people that have a ID number or a uh, ID classification as colored, we have a, an identification of that person, contact reachable person. That's what I'm trying to collect at least. And then, then the official registry database will be completed in order to serve as a census to say, yes, you might say there are so many Coloreds of uh, around in South Africa um, that are supposed to be the receivers or, or the beneficiaries to the outcome of this court case, but here are the actual real people who have been classified as coloured. This is not to do with your uh, cultural heritage. This has got to do with the the dispossession which happened because of the classification of coloured. And we'll talk about that maybe tomorrow. I think we. Uh, uh, We'll see how things go, but 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 all those that uh, have that ID classification will then go into this registry database, where the beneficiaries will then serve us as a census to then say these there's thirty million uh, coloured people instead of eight million, so that thirty million people will be receiving what reparations need to be paid out. And and I know that people are like yeah yeah, a tano mandit wuri kial that knows of you. There's money and no other. And, and and I know there was a time where uh, somebody was also referring some um uh, an amount. But I, I just want to say, and I don't have the the links now. I wish I did actually because it only like it, it like came back out from the files. You clump files, man. Um, but in one of the states in the U.S., something similar to what is being discussed here happened amongst the African-American community where there were reparations based on the dispossession and the atrocities committed by, by slavery in that time. They were being paid out directly to U.S. citizens that had that uh, classification who were descendants and were... So, so I mean, even if... even Let's say, okay, let's say, cool. Like some of the people have been saying to me, like, yeah, he's my neighbor, talk about it. We don't want to be a yeah, 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 sure, man. That's like you're singing now from a song sheet that my community has been singing from for forever. And by my community, I mean kind soul carriers around the world that have been pushed to the fr fringes of society because we don't conform, we don't follow through with whatever it is that you want us to do that will bring us real freedom you want us to do what you deem to be freeing of us whether that's uh oppressive slavery or if there's a lack of information or if it's like an employee whatever but but what i i always think about is like i, I keep thinking about when we we are trying to be as people all of us human beings we want to try to be beneficial we want to try and get money we want to try to take care of the problems we have i want to have a roof over my head i want to feed i want to feed my children i want to be able to pay for medicine and i want that sure that is one let's now okay not let's say what else are then the benefits think of what has happened now because of this conversation people that would have never connected with each other whether that's uh, uh, based on the fact that we share the same opinion or because you're like, yo, I'm also a creative and I can find you other video was see and they can music and whatever. That would not have happened. Those are also the results of part of this outcome. So we can, we can really connect really strongly there to the positive income, uh, income, the positive income and this positive outcome within our communities. But that 
whole real conversation of what happens with the government is that I ek wil in die kans wat die ek is ek 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 wil hier mense moet vir my sommer net bekruisig because I'm trying to find out the truth I'd rather have the horse kom maar my uit die pee te bek uit so Brent will will wait for excitement for that uh some comments in this live were filtered to protect take the community's experience wow that's pretty interesting uh haven't seen that before so hmm the land wars are oh, ashton i do wonderful that is find it on archive.org thank you look at what we can do when we work together well, look what we can accomplish in each one teaching one when we see a lack or we see a he could have been like why don't you just type that in your description etienne Why didn't you just make that one of the comments that you put into your chat Etienne but instead was like hey I'm going to do this on my own proactive thank you Ashton I do 475 I appreciate love you for sharing the title of the book The Land Wars the Disposition of the Khoisan I played that I I shared the thing here we had a little conversation I was really waiting for somebody to join with me uh to maybe have a live conversation but we'll we'll see how it goes you know like each time um We connect. It will be new, but before I go, I, I'm going to play the Namakwaya song again. It is so beautiful, and the main thing I want you to take away from what you're going to hear is that even if you cannot speak the indigenous language, even if you get ridiculed for not having the ability to learn, or that like yeah, I'm a Jacob Antis, and by the way, you should really consider. Not, not smoking cigarettes, but Jacob Antis and a day, and I'm not trying to tell you what to do, but Mama Jay Sally Batal for Iman, Tommy Dungas the Bird. Don't let that stuff stop you from f- feeling the feelings you feel when you hear it. Because the indigenous Aboriginal languages incorporate elements from nature. It is an It is a beautiful language, and the number. I wish I had the details to the song and all the other stuff. I get it. No one like I'm not going to try to find it. I'm not going to find out. I know. So if you're an artist or a musician or a contributor, if you want to help or you want to do something, you're like, yo, I know you're not talking about this, but like I'm keen to help incubate small businesses. I'd like to help create content, or I create content around uh, how to do online making money, whatever. Just share it. Let's share it together. Let's make use of the time we have together. Things we know. And with the people that might not, and even if there are others doing it, fine, let them do it. We can always add to the positivity. I've never heard somebody say, "You know, I, I, I've had too much love in my life. Hey, I can't now. I don't want any more love. No, Gloria, I'm done. Hey, no, Mm-mm. yeah, uh, the amount of love every day, so much. No, I don't. I've never heard somebody say that. I've never in my life. So let's just add to the positive vibes. Let's keep adding to the fact that we can unify. And let's keep giving thanks to our Creator that gave us breath. Whomever it is that you think, but more importantly, who you feel to be. So I'm going to play the song. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for joining us. Uh, for those that just jumped in, sorry you missed it. I'm going to try again. I don't know what time fixed it's going to be, but this will be available on YouTube. Thank you for everyone else that's going on there. Ek het nou presse gevoel, want nou moet ek som op YouTube ook nou aan die goede sa gaan opzit, which I will do. But yeah, thank you for your time. Kai gang gangs. You matter not because you are matter. You are more powerful than anyone has ever told you you are because you are created special. Not out of some self-righteous kind of a, but because you carry a soul and you have the ability to choose kindness and you have the ability to share that light. So let's learn together. Let's be respectful. Let's connect. We're going to try and do this every day. Um, and then let's learn. There's a tab in my thingy. I'm going to leave it there till tomorrow. Uh, uh, I'm going to leave it there till tomorrow. That was me coughing. Um, and, then, and then I'll add the new resource to another extract or another article. I've got a couple of mom- memoirs from like 1800s. I've got a couple of journal entries also from like the 17th century. Also, all available on Archive Online, and sure, you can also find and cite them yourself. Do that. Uh, but we're going to have that conversation here because I can, and I choose to use what I have now deemed a huge blessing of additional beautiful creatures of light, kind people that join my tribe with manageable bullshit <laughs> looking to find the truth. So here's that without further ado. 
the beautiful Nama choir singing in an, an indigenous, I think this is Nama or Dramada or Kokohoap. Enjoy it. And remember, oh, that's asked me. Ach, het ek nou op om gesit. Kijk jy, ek krij nou boukies. Remember, this is what it's all about. Oh, ek kom ek al gebeur. Sleep beautiful love yourself and be kind despite yourself i'll see you tomorrow and have some